<laughs> Hi guys, how are you? Uh, sorry I didn't post anything at the weekend, I just was busy, there were lots of things happening. Uh, I spent part of my time watching rugby. Yes, Scotland beat France, yay! Really chuffed about that. Um, so to any French viewers or anyone who's very French, I have to apologise, but you know, I, th I was really pleased that Scotland beat them. But I'm not here to talk to you about rugby, I promise. Uh, I'm here today to just do a quick chat about where I buy my books and why I use what I use. The uh, main place I buy my books is Waterson's Bookstore. Um, there, this, this is the kind of a big book show, store. They've got the three in Edinburgh, which is the closest place to me. The closest Waterson's I have is kind of 20-25 minutes away. Um, I really like it. It's not as big as the one in Princess Street. But I don't mind that. It's quite nice just to have a smaller bookstore, but it has a really nice coffee shop as well. Um, and it's really good because you can go in and you can browse and take books up to the coffee store, up to the coffee shop, have a look at what you've got and make decisions then as to whether you want to buy them. And it's just really nice. The staff are great and you kind of get to know them. So yeah, so I buy a lot of books in Watersons because I want to keep bookshops going. I also go to a wee bookshop, an independent bookshop, down in Newton St. Boswell's called The Main Street. And it's brilliant. It's a really good bookshop. Again, got a nice cafe attached to it. Doesn't doesn't help. Doesn't hurt, sorry. It's great. Um, and I pick up books there that I probably wouldn't have thought about maybe getting. They have a wider sort of diversity than maybe somewhere like Waterson. So yes, I use that as well. I also use the charity shops. Um, Stockbridge in Edinburgh have got some good charity, sh some good charity shops and some good charity bookshops. I use those. Also, where I live, we have a number of um, charity shops, and sometimes you can actually pick up a really good bargain there, uh, depending on what you're looking for. The other place I use is down in Annick, down in England, and it's called Barter Books. I have an account there, and it's really, really good because you take back books that you've read. And if you ha if you bought them at barter, you get the same amount back put onto your account. If you take new ones, they will decide how much they you know they are avail you know worth, and you can just get books according to how much you have in your account. I have not yet cleared my account. Um, I have quite a lot of money in that, well, quite a bit of money in that account, and. It keeps being added to. I yes, I go down there with a bag of books and I come back with a bag of books, which is maybe I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, you know. Um you just decide whether you want to take as many home as you took down. It's also quite good because they do some um rare books as well, or hardbacks of various things that you maybe can't afford to do, but if you build your account up then you can do so. So yes, I use barter books as well. And I I also use Bookbub. Uh, I found out about Bookbub when must be November, October, November, and I've been using it ever since. And it's great. I used to maybe pick up from Bookbub a, at least one book every week, if not more. So my Kindle, I'm not joking, is loaded with books, and I'm slowly working my way through them. But it's not that I don't want um, to have book books in my hand. I do. I like both. I like the advantage of the Kindle. Where you've got loads of books on it, you get bogged down in one book and you're like, oh, I can't be bothered with this, you can flick to another one. Um, so yes, yeah, so I use I use BookBub a lot. And finally, the other place I buy my books is Amazon. Um, I, so I don't mind buying from Amazon. I buy second hand because I'm afraid it's cheaper. And, I'm, and for me, that is a good thing to do. I have friends give me things like book tokens and also Amazon gift certificates for birthdays and Christmas. So I just use those. I do like Amazon, but I also want to keep other bookshops going as well. So that's why I split my time between all these places. Do I use the library occasionally? If there's maybe an author I've seen on Booktube that I'm really not sure about, I will get my, my library to order a book if they, if they have they don't have one. Just so that I can see if this author is somebody I would like to, you know, to read. So that's where I get my books and why I do what I do. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below 
where you get your books from. Um, if there's anywhere else you think that I could, I could benefit from sort of finding out about about where I get where they can get books, then please let me know. The other thing I'm going to leave down below is a link to myself and Amanda over at Amanda Reads did a live show about Firefly Lane, which was the book that we did as a read along in February. We did it a couple of weeks ago and it was really good, really good fun. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. But as I say, I will leave the link down below for you to go check that out. Hope you enjoy it. We are going to be doing a read along of the second book of the duology. We haven't organised that yet, but we, we will do once I get off my backside emailer. <laughs> so Amanda, if you're watching this, you will get an email soon, I promise. Don't worry about it, you will get an email soon. Just too many things going on. And um, I will let you know all about that. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below where you buy your books and I will see you soon in another video. Bye!